Now, Tulsa leaders considering changes to the city's ambulance service. EMSA is asking the council to increase response times by two minutes. 2 News investigator Marla Carter is live at City Hall where the council meeting is about to get underway. Marla? Russ, that big meeting is set to start in one hour at 6 o'clock tonight. Meanwhile, there were a number of pre-meetings, what are called committee meetings, that ran into late afternoon, all discussing the response time issue. Right now, response times for an emergency situation stand at 8 minutes and 59 seconds. Now, the council is looking at increasing those response times by 2 minutes to 10 minutes and 59 seconds. Naturally, some counselors are very concerned about that, saying they fear that this could literally be a life or death situation. However, a number of medical experts, including the medical director for the city of Tulsa, along with IMSA, have all said that those two minutes will not negatively impact patient outcome. Now, here's the other part of it. IMSA just signed a new contract with a new medical provider called AMR, and under that new contract, if the response times do not increase, then rates will increase. What does that mean for you? Your rates will increase. So right now you're paying about $3.64 a month for your medical service. That would go up to $7.28 a month, more than doubling that rate potentially. That's because it would cost an additional $25 million over the life of that five-year contract. A lot of numbers there, but again, what it basically comes down to is if response times do not increase, then you could pay more on your ambulance bill. So that is something, of course, we will find out tonight. And that meeting again gets underway in about 50 minutes. We'll have the latest information for you tonight on KJRH.com and we'll be live here tonight at 10 o'clock. Reporting live from downtown Tulsa, Marla Carter, Sue News works for you.